Hello and welcome to the OTB channel. Now, those of you who watch my video on Ubuntu Mate 2004 will have heard that I said I intended to upgrade my own system. The thing is, it's a little bit of a Frankenstein system. It's currently running Mate, Plasma, i3, Openbox, BSPWM. So there's lots of possibilities for things to go wrong. Will an in-place upgrade work? Let's see after the intro. Okay, welcome back. The Northern Soul t-shirt's back on. So, um, Ubuntu. You all know that I'm basically an Arch fan, but I've got a lot of respect for Ubuntu, and it currently resides on an NVMe drive uh, on my system, and I've tended to use it for playing and experimenting, and the end result has been that it's a little bit of a Frankenstein system at the moment. It started off as Ubuntu Mate, and it's since had Plasma, i3, Openbox, BC, BSPWM put on it, and anything else that I think I'm going to do. I use Ubuntu because it isn't my main system, and if it breaks, well, I just reinstall. So it started off as 18.10 on this system just over a year ago. I did an in-place upgrade to 19.04, then an in-place upgrade to 19.10. They went fine, but I've done most of the messing since the last upgrade. And I've made all sorts of tweaks, putting in an XRNR script into LightDM's uh, configuration file and uh, launching the... BSPWM executable by pointing it to an auto start file. I've compiled Polybar because it wasn't in the Ubuntu repositories. So I've compiled it from GitHub. So there's a lot of messing with this system. Will the upgrade work? Well, ultimately, I don't really mind. If it does, great. If not, I've saved my config directory already. So I have all my important dot files and uh, I'll just do a reinstall. But I thought it might be quite interesting for a video just to see whether this process actually works. Right, so welcome back. Many of you might remember this screen if you were watching my channel right at the beginning when I was using Ubuntu Mate. And yes, I don't like green, so I changed it all. Now, what I've actually done so far I was a little bit concerned about Polybar as I pulled it down from GitHub and just compiled it. So I've uninstalled that and I'll just have to reinstall it from uh, GitHub once the upgrade's done. I've also uh, done a full upgrade on the system. So all the packages are basically as up to date as I can get. So... I have tried to run the update manager, and so far it's not picking up that uh, there is a new version 2004 out. I'm not surprised at that. The servers are probably being hammered, so I would imagine they're leaving it a few days before they put it into the general population, which is to be expected. Let me just open uh, up my terminal a little bit and uh, make it a little bit bigger. There we go. So as you can see, looking at NeoFetch, I'm on Ubuntu 19.10 at the moment. If it's not going to do the automatic upgrade, well, because I've already updated the whole system, I can issue the command update manager dash D and it should force the upgrade. So let's see. It's checking for updates now. It's finished. The software on the computer is up to date. However, 2004 is now available. Okay, great. So it's there. Now, I'm obviously recording this on OBS Studio. And whilst I'm doing an upgrade, 
everything's going to be upgraded. I'm not entirely sure how long I can keep the recording going while the upgrade is actually taking place. But we'll play it by ear. So I'm just going to hit upgrade and see what happens. It's asking for my password, which I'm entering now. It's checking for a new release. Welcome to Focal Fossa. Great upgrade, please. By the way, I should have said that I've got a load of PPAs installed on this system as well, so it is not a clean system. And off it goes. It's doing what it needs to do. And it's preparing to upgrade. Third-party sources have now been disabled. I fully expected that. It's setting new software channels. So it's setting everything to Focal Fossa. And... It will then start getting new packages and installing the upgrades. I'll keep this recording going for as long as possible. I will speed it up, but we're going to get cut off at some point. So expect that and we'll come back once it's all done. So there's not actually a lot to see here while it's just getting the new packages, but shortly it's going to be starting the installation. I don't really want to keep recording just because that adds an extra complication into the upgrade process. So I'm going to pause this here and we'll come back once it's done. Right, so that's the installation done. It installed without errors and booted me straight into, well, my Mate desktop. If I just open this, you can see I'm running Ubuntu 2004 LTS. It took a little while, which I'm not really surprised about. So what has caused me some problems as far as uh, the upgrade was concerned? Well... Only a few things, really, and they're relatively minor. First of all, I had a pro problem with Openbox. I'd forgotten I'd installed a program called OB Menu Generator, and uh, I'd downloaded it from GitHub, and I had compiled that as well. And I should have removed that before the installation. So Openbox appeared quite messed up. I did try and reinstall OB Menu Generator, but the dependencies that it requires don't seem to be on this new system. So I'm going to have a look into that, but that's a minor thing. I'm sure that's sortable. Plasma, uh, yeah, that works. i3, yeah, that works. Both of those were very, very lightly configured i'd installed them had a quick look at them and then moved on to one of my other systems to play around with the configurations uh, that probably helped as far as the upgrade was concerned so all good bspwm yes that works as well i did have a little problem recompiling polybar i was missing uh, a package called python xcb gen I just reinstalled it, though, and uh, everything was fine. I was able to recompile Polybar, and everything's working. So really not that bad, to be honest. Oh, yes, it did remove uh, my custom auto start file from the LightDM uh, X session for BSPWM, so I had to put that back in. It also took out my 
starter script for light dm so i just had to put that back in but minor things really so overall bit of a result so let's just have a quick look at uh, the desktops that it's installed i would emphasize that apart from mate they're pretty unconfigured and vanilla at the moment so this was as much a trial as anything else so here we are, we're in uh, BSPWM, all seems to be working okay, I had to recompile Polybar, but uh, all good so far, let's try Plasma. Here's Plasma, uh, once again pretty plain, but seems to be working okay. And now we have i3, uh, it wasn't really configured before, so it's running in basic mode, but all seems okay right so uh the upgrade worked it's not what i would recommend if you've got a system that's as uh, full of lots of little customizations as mine but it did work what i will probably do if i'm honest is i'll do a clean install later today and start from scratch and just put mate on and add in bspwm with all of my customizations. The only thing that failed along the way was Openbox, and that's because of this OB menu generator package, which was causing issues. I'm assuming that one of the dependencies got removed along the upgrade path, and uh, I would just need to find something that goes into it uh, and replaces it, basically. So that's it for today. It was just a quick look-see. Um, hope you have a great day. Hope you're staying well. Don't forget to join me on Library, and I'll see you later in the week.